What's up, you guys? It's Shemaine here, and welcome back to my channel here at Cake Up and Curls. So, for this video today, I have my um, detailed wash and go routine. Um, this video has been highly requested, so if you do want to see how I achieve my bomb wash and go, then please keep on watching. All right, guys, so what you see here is me just separating my hair into threes. You can do threes or fours, whatever works better for you. I find that with this particular style, you get the best results when you definitely separate your hair. So here you just see me separating down the middle, and then I am separating that second half into a um, section of two. Um, so my hair is actually freshly washed. I used a different brand on my hair, Obia Naturals. I actually received these products um, out of my first curl box. So um, I'll have more information and updates on that. But what I did use on my hair is their Coconut Shea Shampoo Bar and their Baba Su Deep Conditioner. So far, so good. I'm loving the products. And I will also be using one of their products in this video as well. So after I've sectioned my hair off, I am taking this as I am leave-in conditioner. Um, you guys, I cannot talk this leave-in conditioner up enough. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it has so much slip, adds so much moisture to my hair. So if for anybody that is looking for a good leave-in conditioner, I would definitely recommend this one. So I'm just adding that to that smaller section. And here I'm actually just taking that section and I am separating that in twos. So um, this is the brand by Obia Naturals. I'm using their Twist Whip Butter Eco Styler. This is the Argon Oil um, one. And then last but not least, I am going to be using the As I Am Curling Jelly. And I'll go put a bit more into details um, as far as these products and why I do like them. I actually picked this Twist Whip Butter because it had the most slip. Um, I definitely didn't want to put anything in my hair that is um, too thick, too heavy on my hair. So here I am just taking that whip butter and I am applying that to the section of my hair and I am raking that through. You want to make sure with wash, wash and goes especially that you are coating each and every strand with that product. So here I am taking the whip butter. And then over top of that, I'm using that argon oil and raking that through. And then last but not least, that curling jelly in my hair. The curling jelly I love especially because it has so, so much slip to it. Um, it's easy to rake through your hair. So once I've applied all three of those products to that small section and raked it through, then I am just scrunching my hair. And kind of periodically, you will see me kind of breaking those um, thicker pieces up and you know scrunching those as well. So here I am just repeating that same step, moving on to that second section there, applying that whip butter, and then I'm following that up with that argon oil. Note, you guys, you definitely wanna make sure you get your roots very good. You don't want them to be frizzy or not have enough product on it. So I am just taking that argon oil, applying that, and then I will grab some of that curling jelly and I will just start to rake that through my hair. So I know you guys are hearing me say that I am loving these products that have the most slip to it. And what I mean by that is very light products. Um, I prefer for my hair not to weigh it down. And I would assume that it would be the same way for other people. You definitely don't want to put products in your hair that is going to weigh your hair down and that your hair can flow and everything once it does dry. So what I mean by slip is that it is a very light product and it's easily able to be raked through your hair um, and combed through your hair with no problem. Um, so here I'm actually just repeating that step to every single section of my hair.
So I want to quickly touch on heat damage because I myself, I definitely do have some problem areas when it comes to heat damage. Um, now, heat damage is developed, obviously, when you put heat on your hair. So those flat irons, even constant blow drying on your hair, women who are transitioning from perm um, to natural, or they're just used to having an overabundance of amount of heat on your hair, and your curl pattern is not as tight as mine is, or even to the front of your hair where you may apply the most heat on it um, your curl pattern is much looser um, I definitely have suffered with this you will also see some of my heat damage that I have in the front as well um, and with that heat damage I will say that you will have to manipulate your curls a little bit more um, in those areas so there are two different methods of doing a wash and go, rigging that product through, which is what you see me doing here, and shingling. Shingling is actually what you see me doing now. It is very, very time consuming, um, but I find that it is the best results when you do have heat damage on your hair. And that is taking product on your hand and single um in, in very small sections um defining those curls so i am instead of raking the whole entire section of my hair i'm actually just sectioning that section off in very very small pieces and coating each strand of my hair with that product now like i said it is a bit time consuming but i usually will use this shingling method on the very front of my hair because i noticed that that's where my curls are a little bit looser specifically in this section so here i am just taking my fingers sectioning that part off and really just coating that um little piece of hair um with as much product as i can i do go back and i do scrunch a little bit more like i said with that heat damage you are going to have to manipulate your curls a little bit more because of the damage so that is actually what you're going to see me do in this section particularly because i find that um that's where most of my heat damage is um now i will put a little disclaimer out there that when you are dealing with heat damage um you know it's kind of hard to revert those curls back now you can definitely do it um so for me personally as my hair continues to grow out i am cutting that heat damage out slowly but surely so that is definitely an option for the ladies that don't want to just cut that out you can continue to work with it manipulate those curls um, but you will at some point will have to start to cut those out or cut that heat damage out and that'll just come with um you know clipping your ends as needed So as I am working my way up to the top of my hair, you will definitely start to see a more of that heat damage. So as I'm applying that product, you'll see right here where it is not very curly. The curls aren't popping whatsoever. Um, that is all heat damage. My curls aren't really revived. Um, you know, the product is definitely not allowing those curls to bounce back. Um, obviously with the exception of the new growth on my root. Um, so I am applying all of those three products in the same order, the Twist Whip Butter along with that Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel and then my As I Am Curling Jelly and I am beginning to shingle my hair. Um, like I said, the shingling method um, really, really works to help define your curls and when you are dealing with heat damage, I think that is most um, important is try to manipulate that hair. So I am scrunching a lot more in this section than usual because of you know the looser curl pattern in the front so i'm just scrunching um, all of that product together in my hair
All right, so before I move on to that other section of my hair, um, you guys, it is very, very important to seal all of that moisture that you added onto your hair with an oil. Um, you can actually seal with an oil or a butter, um, but I prefer to seal with an oil, and today I am gonna be using the grapeseed oil. I actually just picked this up at my local grocery store. Um, and, it, and it's important because once the moisture is inside your hair shaft, the oil will act as an outer barrier to protect that water and any of those products from coming out of your hair too quickly and evaporating and leaving your hair dry again. So using oil over moisturized hair, um, again, is sealing your hair. Very, very, very important. Um, it's very critical in, moist in the moisturizing process because it ensures that your hair does stay moisturized um, for as long as possible. So I'm using that grapeseed oil and I am sealing that. Um, and yeah, so I pretty much, after I sealed that, um, I have completed the other side of my hair. There is the back of that as well. Um, shout out to the heat damage. It is um, gonna be gone, <laughs> hopefully by the end of this year. Now, what I do is I actually let all of those products sit in my hair before I go on to um, diffusing my hair. So after letting that sit for about 20, 30 minutes, I go in with my diffuser and I um, start to diffuse my hair. So because I am so impatient with the drying process, I am actually only using my diffuser to dry it about 50% of the way. Um, the rest of it I do like to dry overnight, um, so I will pineapple my hair. But here is my hair, not entirely dry. Um, but what I'm going to do next is actually go grab my hair tie and I am going to get ready for bed because it's late but um, you can see my hair has moisture my curls are very very defined so here I am just putting my hair up in a pineapple I am not tying that ponytail too tight I am just looping it around one time and I am grabbing my silk scarf um, I do also sleep on a silk pillowcase um, just for some extra protection um, but here I am actually just not going to tie it too, too tight. I am going to um, tie my scarf on and get ready for bed. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Not it entirely because you obviously have to see the final result. But that is actually the start of the drying process. All right, you guys, so here we are with the final product. This is my hair drying overnight. As you can see, those curls are super defined. I'm telling you guys, I have been doing my wash and go like this since day one, and I have not switched up this routine yet. Um, now, I may switch up some of the products here and there, but as far as the routine, um, it has pretty much been the same, and I am loving the results. So, I did want to um, tell you guys about that crunchiness. Because come on, we put all of that gel in our hair and once it does dry, it is going to be a little stiff, a little crunchy. But what I do like to do is grab my grapeseed oil and what I consider it is scrunching the crunch. So you're going to take some of that oil on your hands and you're going to pretty much break that cast of that gel on your hair but once you do that you guys have this i mean it's only going to get bigger as the days go on so this is a day one wash and go but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um because i enjoyed doing it <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe show your girl some love and lord willing i will see you guys in my next video bye